future I'm prepared to die 더 속력을 높여서 down to earth like a meteor Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world and today we are going to check out Hype Label Now, I'm in awe of this channel because of the abundance of different artists that's coming out. And you've all got different styles. You've all got different, uh, you know, characters and everything else. And I thought, how can you have so many artists on one label and still have those artists being different from the other? Amazing. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to be checking out a new artist, TXT. TXT, Chasing That Feeling. Now, that's new to me. I don't know if they're new or, or not. Let me know about that. You connoisseurs will know much more um, about these artists or any artists from the high, high label than me. Yeah? Let's just get that out of the way. I'm just enjoying this channel. It is amazing, mate. Seriously. So this particular track has been out um, less than four hours and has already gathered just under a million views. What? Insane numbers, man. Right. I can't tell you anything else. I, honestly, credits, it's, yeah, it's got the credits. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, I can't see anything. All I can do is press the play button and enjoy. <laughs> so, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? So what, you're an alien? Right, the, the music behind this, ah, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue of where, where that sound or that song sounds familiar. Ah, oh, come on. It is certainly the 80s, early 90s, mid 80s, early 90s groove, that retro kind of feeling. But there is a song, I want to say in the midnight hour, in the midnight hour. To cry more, more, more. You know that song? In the midnight hour. Go and find it. Um, but I want to say that, but I think it's something else. And I can't even remember who, who that person uh, was that sung that song. But there's so much familiar, uh, from familiarity in the 80s and the mid 80s, early 90s. That retro feeling. I like it. Yeah. I'm going to go back just a little bit. To about say here. I got you. I prepared to die. The song you get no piece down to earth like a meteorite. The music is so familiar, man. Hats off to the right. Hats off to a lot of people. <laughs> this is brilliant. Coming above from the ground. Is that a music studio? Because there's no way you can get that place so empty. This is, so I've said this before, and I, I can kind of see a pattern now with um, High Label and how they, the, the, the producers, the creative design behind it. You've done your research. I thought it was just the odd one or two artists that you have 
um, or, or um, girl group or boy group that you have but you've done the research you are literally combining all the number one hits from around the world or, or western world or whatever and you're fusing it all together and you've got some serious schematics of how to produce out a number one song or a, a number a song that's in your head and you don't even know the reason why You've done this a number of times, sir. Hype label, the group, the band. I mean, the, the record label. It's like you've done some serious algorithms and collected every single number one um, track from period of, you know, 50s all the way up to current time right now. Because there is not one instrument. There's not one melody structure. There's not one way how we sing. They are singing it. That I can't put in my head. Uh, that I can put in my head and say, wait a minute. That reminds me of a number one track. But I can't put my finger on what number one song it is. I see you. I see you. Brilliant. Brilliant thinking. No one ain't doing it. Well, no one's not doing it as... Constructive is the way how you guys are doing it at the moment. You've gone deep. You've done your due diligence. You certainly have. Now you can produce as many artists as you want because you've got that schematics. This is that melody song. That's the number one song. What number one song is? I'll break it down for you. Baby. Right. This is 2000. That's our heart. Take me, uh, take one of you. Yeah? Take one of you. 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 Take from the sky Listen to the melody Shasha. And everything's gonna be alright That's the number one song Brilliant Brilliant. But is that in America? Is that a film studio? Looks like a film studio. Have you got some serious dough, bro? Brilliant. So that was the high label TXT chasing that feeling. Everything about it was star quality. Everything about it was A class, and that's what high label Brit brings. Yes, they're not in the in the competitive nature of the Western world, but if they was, if this was a battle between the Western world music and uh, the other continents of the world, um, I'm sorry, Western, but we will not win. There is so much choreography and uh, attention to details. And that I've seen from around the world that will leave the Western um, way at the back. But there's something about Western music that's always shined the brightest light when it comes to on the planet. And I have really don't know why. I'm very, very fortunate to react to music from around the world to see this. I've seen artists that, you know, only gather about a thousand views, but as equally as good or have an even better voice than the likes of Rihanna or Katy Perry or, or um, the other one, uh, or the other artists. Or you get an, um, a music designer, music uh, director, um, who's just waiting for that chance and he produces the most brilliance of music videos that will compete with anybody. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing to see I've I look I say to everybody look if you're for one particular country check out other countries music even if you don't understand the language just check out what's happening and you see how the music in itself 
is appreciated by the universe. <laughs> It really is because our body moves to every kind of beat, dance, and everything. You, you know, especially when we go on holiday. When we go on holiday, I've said this to, so many times. When we go on holiday and you know to another country or wherever you've never been before, and you listen to the music, what's the first thing you do? You dance. It's a brilliance. Music is an amazing thing, and the combinations and schematics of music, it will never die because it's forever growing. And this is what I'm talking about. It's a perfect example of what TNT has presented. A massive collection of number one uh, songs of the past. Reconstructed to make one song. It's a forever growing, breathing thing. And I'm glad that you've got a company like Hybe Label that's identifying it. And using it. I don't think, like I said, I don't think anybody else is doing it right now. Maybe they might have done it once. Um, and they came out of that schematics. But there's enough um, meat on the bone to go back into the past and re and look at all of these amazing songs that we had, you know, from 100 years, 300 years. There's a, there's a massive collection of music, 1,000 years, 2,000 years, that you can easily go back to and revitalise and bring up to the forefront. And use again. Why not? <laughs> they are. And they're doing it brilliantly. For that reason... I salute you. Boom.